she was a good politician going into that, but something about the rigor of the election campaign, she kept upping her game as a politician, right? Like she just became uh, a premier over four weeks, a leader over four weeks. That's what I'm fighting for. Fighting for Alberta and fighting for you. Well, I, her, her friendships are very, very important to her. And, and when you're, when you become her friend, it's, it's basically for life. You know, you're not, she's not, you, you won't be able to shake her no matter what you do. She's also just fun and, and willing to kind of spur the moment do things, which um, always makes for interesting nights out. Throughout the 17 years we've been friends, uh, she's always been there for me. We're there for each other. She is steadfast. She's careful. She's loyal. She, she actually has your back when you need someone. So, From yeah. the time I was about seven till um, I guess I would have been 12. We lived in town and I remember there was a certain point in time where I used to love every Saturday morning to like hop on my bike, bike down to the uh, local candy store, buy a whole bunch of like two for one cent candies, go to the library, pick up two or three books like the famous five or whatever, take them home and then spend the afternoon reading. That was like super fun and then my friends would be phoning to want to go do something else and I'd be like constantly telling my mom to tell them I wasn't there or whatever so that I could like hang out and do that and my friends like anytime they'll come over the two things they will always be shocked about when they meet my mom is wow your mom is really short and oh my god she curses like a sailor because <laughs> obviously we're editing the out of this right yeah. okay good. And she is extremely funny she she has a sense of humor like nobody I, I laugh when I think about some of the things that come out of her mouth and I got my horse uh, when we still lived in town school would be over and and my friends and I would uh, run out of school and we'd get on our bikes and we'd bike it's about I don't know a kilometer out away from the school to where Jason was and then we'd go that was our horse Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, and um, <laughs> they, we'd uh, saddle up Jason and then <laughs> take turns riding him right in the out. <laughs> oh, I've seen his dad. I, I want that shot before the end of this campaign. Well, Just wait. Right. Well, now I'm looking at you. I'll pay money. I'll pay money. She's just all, always for us just been um, the person that you want to have around because she's funny and loyal and committed to your friendship, right? She's, you know, you know she's the kind of person, if she's your friend, you've got her for life and that's it, you know? Growing up, in, even in high school, like, you know, if we had a debate in social class or something in high school, um, I would invariably pick, you know, sort of the, the underdog position. I, I sort of inherently like the idea of a good argument and, and having to sort of fight the good fight. You know, they fought their whole lives, both of them, for uh, issues of social justice and, and to stand up for uh, people who didn't have a voice. And they did so in a, in a context where what they were doing was not popular. Predictably, she would have chosen Tucker because he was a three-legged mangy half-dead dog and for her uh, that was the dog she had to have and so when I think of Rachel and I think about her commitment to those who need kind of extra and who need um, more support and who have suffered disadvantage it, it really is you know I look at her dog and I, it says everything you need to know about her. I don't specifically remember her deciding to rise in MLA, but I do remember when she won. Like that was that was super hype because I was obsessed with hockey back then, and I specifically remember being like, "You know what we need to do? We need to like hoist her over our heads, like the Stanley Cup, like all of us, or even better, we need to like do one of those like Gatorade dumps." Like I was just I was so immensely proud of her at that time felt so good. She's a compelling individual and she's funny too, yeah. you know, and I mean that is the great thing about both of them. They're just 
both they both have a great sense of humor and they like to laugh and they like to help other people to laugh too. Uh, well, I mean, I am enormously proud of everything she's accomplished. I um, uh, put together a list of everything her government has done that was like about 300 items long. Um, I am her biggest cheerleader. I think the work that she's done in four years has uh, exceeded my wildest expectations of what any government could accomplish in four years. This person calls Lou and says, oh, you know, Rachel just met my, my sister and, uh, and Lou thought he was going to make some sort of cynical joke about, you know, what I did or said. And he almost started crying. Uh, well, he actually did start crying talking to Lou about um, how much we'd changed her life. As far as I'm concerned, playing a small role in uh, the work she's done is, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the, the great accomplishments of my life that I could help her uh, in, in a small way. It's easy to get discouraged in seeing the determination that Rachel's always had about Alberta. Of course, I find that very inspiring um, and it makes me feel much more hopeful about what is possible to do here or anywhere if we just stick to it. she has done, the integrity that that woman displays, you know, and again, this is aside from friendship, this is just watching her, you know, in rooms, in briefings, how she deals with things and the things she is not willing to accept and the things that she pushes forward. She's, she is, um, yeah, she's pretty spectacular. Super look forward to supporting Notley in this upcoming election. Uh, very excited to see what, what's in store for us here in Alberta. I'm really inspired by her. She represents all our burdens, not just the ones that are well off and the most affluent. I'm Danny Hay and I'm proud to be voting for Rachel Notley. What gives me hope is what I hear back from Albertans. It's the smiles, the enthusiasm, their sense of the meaning around what we've been doing and, and their sense of hope about how much more we can do and uh, their enthusiasm about all of us coming together and, and doing it together. that our best days are ahead of us. I am fighting. I'm fighting for one province with one common future. We should do something funny. We need funny. There should be something funny. Do we have any funny in this? No. Oh, guys. Oh, very funny. Not we something right Not now. Super boring. Wish there was something funny. God. Come on. <laughs> Think about that now. <laughs>